Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the brand new Samsung Galaxy S4. Now, this is the other one that we've all been waiting for. Y'all already seen me do the HTC One. This is the other major Android phone that everybody been waiting for, the Galaxy S4. So I'm going to try to make this video a little bit quicker than my usual videos, so let's get right into it. First off, let's take a look at the box. Now, this is a nice looking box, kind of has that wood grain kind of look to it, but it's the typical, you know, cardboard material, but it has that nice wood grain look to it, so that's a nice touch. I like that. I'm feeling the box on this one. Keep in mind now, the price for this off contract is going to run you about $650 to $700, depends where you get it from, whether Best Buy or Sprint or whatever, you know, whatever carrier you rock with, but it's going to be over $600 off contract. So that's, um, you know, a pretty penny, but the phone is a definite, definite go. All right, let's take a look at the specs real quick that you get on the back of the box. Y'all know I don't really like to do specs and all that, but since this is unboxing, we'll just touch them real quick. Uh, you got 4G LTE capable, of course. It comes with the IR blaster, it's just like the HTC One, so you can control your TV and all that. It comes preloaded with Samsung Watch On. Now, if you don't know what Watch On is, we'll get into that in the real review. Also, um, you can check it out on my Galaxy Note 8.0. I'm about to do that real review also. That has Watch On also. Watch On is a go. That's all you need to know. It's a go. It's running Android. You got a full 5-inch HD Super AMOLED Plus. I mean, a Super AMOLED display. 5 inches HD. Beautiful. All right, um, it's clocked at 1.9 gigahertz quad-core processor. You got a 13-megapixel camera in the rear. You got a 2-megapixel camera in the front. And um, it takes video in full 1080p. Recording and playback. All right, so that's the specs from the back of the box. As you can see, I got the Sprint joint. 16 gig edition. Galaxy S4, let's open it up. Like I said, it's a nice box. Y'all know I like a nice box. Samsung always provides you with a nice box. And this wood grain material just looks nice. Now, I don't know about y'all. I always like to keep the box in my joint. So whenever I'm ready to, you know, if I'm ready to sell it to somebody or whatever, I like for them to get their money's worth just like I'm feeling like I'm getting my money's worth right now. So I always keep my boxes looking nice. This box looks real nice. Let's open it up. Two-part box. Inside, you get the actual device. Let's pop that out. No plastic on it because I've been rocking it for the last couple of days. Inside. Wait for it. Wait for it. You get the usual books and shit. Y'all knew that was coming. You get the charger. The micro USB charger. Typical Samsung fashion. And surprise, headphones. All right, now, Samsung, you know, sometimes they give you headphones, sometimes they don't. But I'm glad they threw headphones in this one because HTC One, you get free headphones. So, Samsung, they give you a set of headphones. I haven't even opened them yet, but pretty much look like all of the typical Samsung headphones. I'll try them out, you know, when I go to the gym tomorrow and let y'all know how that, you know, how that works out. But that's all you get inside the box. All right. So, let's take a look at the actual phone itself. This phone is simply beautiful, <laughs> definitely beautiful, five inch display. Now, as you can see, like I said, I've been rocking it now for the last couple of days, so I got all my apps, all my information is on there and all that, but um, just for dramatic effect, I put it back in the box. So let's take a look around the phone. On the right side of the phone, you got the power button. Now, y'all know the difference between the HTC One, the power button on the top, I actually like that better on the top, but whatever, I'll save all of that for the comparison videos. You got the power button on the side, that's about it. On the top, you got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the IR blaster is built in there. On the other side of the phone, you got the volume up and down. On the bottom of the phone, you got your micro USB connection port. Plug it in right there. Also on the front, you got your two megapixel camera on the front. You got all your sensors for your Samsung gestures. You got your home button, physical home button. You also have a menu button and a back button. Okay, on the back of the camera, I mean the back of the phone, you got you got the uh, 13 megapixel camera which takes beautiful pictures and you got an LED flash also the speaker on the bottom alright no Sprint branding on there which is um a good look for me I don't like too much company branding on it you got your Galaxy S4 branding 
and you got your uh, Samsung branded. That's it. So now let's take a look at the actual phone itself. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm making this video a little bit shorter because when we do the real review, we'll get into all the heavy specs and all that, get into all the features. But I will, I will just show y'all a couple of things about the phone I do like that's kind of sick. First off, the lock screen. Now, you can have all your information ticking and all that stuff. I'll have all that stuff set up by the time I do the real review. But um, the lock screen on this is nice. As you can see, let me get close to that. You could actually see where my finger is going before I touch it. It might be hard to see on camera, but you can see my finger. And it has that, that kind of that like nature look to it. Makes a little sound when you open it up. So I'm feeling the lock screen on it. Works nice. Now keep in mind I got the phone on airplane mode while I'm in the middle of a download, of course. But um, I don't want to get interrupted while I'm doing this video. You see the time is 2.30. It's mad late. I was watching the Knicks games. Shout out to all y'all, y'all Boston fans out there. Yeah, yeah, y'all think y'all still alive and all that. We we just we just um we just letting y'all have y'all moment because you know we kind of feel bad for y'all with all the tragedy that's been happening in Boston and all that. So we didn't want to sweep y'all under the table real quick. We let y'all get a few wins for the fans and all that, but that's the last game for y'all. All right, shout out to the Knicks here. Anyway, back to this uh, unboxing. What else? Let's take a look at some of the features real quick. Let me show you some of the Samsung gestures, which make Samsung pretty much the top of the food chain when it comes to innovation and technology and all that. Let me show you a couple of the, the gestures. Let's take a look at uh, at some of the uh, air view. Let's look at my emails. Now, as you can see, when I'm rocking with the emails, I'm not touching the screen, okay? If you can see, I'm not touching the screen, but I can scroll over a pitch, I can scroll over email and it opens that email up without even touching the screen. Now, I hear people saying that, oh, Samsung with all their gimmicks and all that, but um, trust me, it's not a gimmick if you use it every day. And a lot of these features, you're not going to really use unless you tell yourself to use them and start using them, and after a while, you'll love them, just like I love them. Because a lot of times when I'm in a meeting or something, I got my phone on the table, you know, it's nice to now, I don't even have to literally touch the phone, I can just hover it over and read emails without even touching the phone. That's kind of sick. And also, I'll show you another quick one. Like I said, I'm not going to get into this too heavy. I don't even know if this web page will pull up because I'm on uh, I'm on airplane mode, so it won't pull up. But you can scroll your internet pages without touching the phone. When I do the real review, I'll do it somewhere where I got a Wi-Fi connection and all that, and um, we'll be able to get into all that stuff. But the gestures are tough. You already know about the swipe gesture to take a screenshot. I mean, it's, it's a lot more swipe gestures and a lot more features on this phone than compared to the S3. So um, it's definitely an upgrade. I hear a lot of people asking me, if you got an S3, is it worth getting an S4? And the answer to that is, of course it is, because, you know, it's an upgraded phone. It's a, it's a, it's a bigger phone, better display, better camera, more features on it, better processor. I mean, that alone is enough to upgrade. Now, don't get me wrong, the, the S3 is no slouch. If you have an S3 right now, you know, it's not like you got, you know, you, you, you know you're at the bottom of the food chain. But the S4 right now is definitely better than the S3. Is it better than the Galaxy Note 2? I wouldn't say better. I would say it's exactly right up there with the Note 2, even though the Note 2 has the S Pen. So the Note 2 is pretty much still shutting everything down right now. Now, let's look at the build of this phone. That's one thing we got to talk about before we get out of here. The build of this phone is the one thing that I'm concerned with. Now, keep in mind, of course, you're going to drop a case on it and all that. But the build, if you're one of those people that don't like to use a case... This phone, the back of this phone is made out of some kind of poly, uh, polycarbonate material, but it just feels super, super slippery. Like, y'all see when I did the S3 video, I said that was the slipperiest phone I ever used. This is now the new slipperiest phone I ever used. It's extra slippery. And it has that, you know, that plastic feel to it, which, you know, it's, it's, it's an acquired taste. Like, right now, I'm, I'm kind of used to it now, so it doesn't feel like a cheap piece of junk. But um, it still has that, that plastic feel to it. But one thing about the S4, what they did, if you could take a look and notice, that it looks like it has metal around the phone, but that's not metal. It's just more plastic, polycarbonate, whatever you want to call it. But it has that metal look to it, and it's actually thicker. So on the one on the S3, it was, with the S3 had that full plastic look. This one kind of looks like it's plastic, you know, merged with a little bit of metal, but it's all plastic. But that, you know, the fact that they made it wider, and they gave it that metal look, it just gives it a better feel to it. So now when you're holding it, it kind of feels like you're holding a more solid phone. Even this phone, even though this phone is 
unbelievably light and unbelievably thin. Okay, this phone is super, super light and super thin. So once you put a case on it, it'll probably give it a more premium feel to it. But in the meantime, it just has that that either love it or hate it Samsung plastic build. You know, either you love it or you hate it. Like right now, I started to love it because I've been using all these plastic Samsung phones for the last couple of years. But um, if you're new to Samsung, you might think that it doesn't feel like a six, seven hundred dollar phone, even though with the software and the specs and all that, it definitely is. All right, so that's the kind of trade-off. Like I said, with you know, with between this and the HTC One, with the HTC One, you're getting that premium, super duper, you know, that tough build quality, but you don't get all of these, you know, cool features like all of the the air gestures and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you a couple of more too. Let me see. Um, say I got a phone call, right? Let me let me get a phone. Let me see if I got something. Somebody we could call real quick. Well, we'll get into that in the real review. Like I said, it's, it's, it's so many features. This is a definite upgrade. If you got an S3 and you're wondering, should you upgrade? The answer is yes. The only question is, should you upgrade to the Galaxy S4? Should you get the HTC One? Or should you get the Note 2? Ah, tough dilemma, right? Because this is actually, this is one of the times where Samsung doesn't have a complete, a complete grip at the top of the food chain spot. Because right, right now you could go out and get an HTC One and you'll definitely be sitting on top of the food chain But this video is not about the one. We keep, we, we're going to keep it keep it S4 in this video All right, On a scale of 1 to 10, fresh out the box, I'm giving this phone a solid 9, fresh out the box So far, phone hasn't been lagging Now, one thing I will say is, if you see my HTC One video, one thing I don't like about a phone is when you You know, when you open the lock screen, it takes a second to open that's one thing I, you know, a lot of Samsung phones do that. It doesn't pop right open. Look at the HTC One. That's immediate opening. All right, let's try that. Let's let's see if we could do that at the same time. I know I said I wasn't gonna compare, but it is what it is. All right, let's go. You see, the HTC One is super smooth, lag free. Now I'm not saying that this one is lagging. It just you know, there's so much features and so much software stuff in there. I'm, I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it. Not to mention, I am on airplane mode, stuck in the middle of a download. So maybe that has something to do with it. Matter of fact, just for fun, let me just, um, just for fun, let's kill all the processes. Just for fun. And just uh, make sure that there's nothing running. Let's end everything. Nothing running in the back. Let's see if it still does that now. Still a little delay, not a big deal. Like I said, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this a solid nine fresh out the box. I'm gonna do the real review after I use it as my main line for about a week straight, and um, we'll get back to y'all, all right? Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer, and a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I be at full time, 100%. Full throttle. Also, real quick before I get out of here, let me show y'all accessories. I did get one accessory. Now, y'all know I've been trying to do this all aluminum, you know, theme this month. So, right now, we got the S4 Case Fanatic, you know, case on standby. But uh, let's check out this one I got from Sprint. Now, this one from Sprint was about $35. It's just an aluminum back case. Let's see how I can open this up real quick. All right, it's a two-part case. Rubber. And it has that aluminum kind of back look to it. So let's drop it on real quick. My phone, my uh, camera battery is about to die. So if the video ends right in the middle of this, my bad. All right, this is what it looks like on the phone. I didn't put it on as solid, you know, as good as it could go on. But um, you get an idea of what it's going to look like. $35 from Sprint. I'm pretty sure that you already been online. You've seen they got a thousand different cases for the S4 out already. So we're going to do the speed gene cases, we're going to do the case fanatic joints, we're going to do the iLoom, whatever they got popping off. We're going to hit all the major companies up for the S4 cases, and we'll do some videos on them. But right now, am I, um, I don't know, I'll put this case on right now, I kind of dig this case. Kind of has that aluminum look to it. Like on my uh, Note 2. So I am keeping the all aluminum theme still alive, right? We're keeping it alive. It's your boy Floss. I'll catch up with y'all in a minute. We're going to do the um, the Galaxy Note 8.0 real review. I'll try to get into that tomorrow, all right? I'm out. Deuces.